In our study of Isaiah chapter 51, we look at Israel and Yeshua Messiah as the arms of God who through faith bring about the establishment of the kingdom. Listen to me, you pursuers of justice, you who seek Adonai, consider the rock from which you were cut, the quarry from which you were dug, consider Abraham your father and Sarah, who gave birth to you, in that I called him when he was only one person, then blessed him and made him many. In this passage, we see that those who are pursuing righteousness by seeking the Lord must remember that the foundation of the faith is found in Abraham. We remember that Abraham answered God's call and believed. Because of this faith, Abraham was blessed and we will also be blessed through our faith. For Adonai will comfort Sion, will comfort all her ruined places, will make her desert like Eden, her Arava like the garden of Adonai. Joy and gladness will be there, thanksgiving and the sound of music. Pay attention to me, my people, my nation, listen to me. For Torah will go out from me, I will calm them with my justice as a light for the peoples. My righteousness is at hand, my salvation goes out, my arms will judge the peoples. The coastlands are putting their hope in me, trusting in my arm. The outcome of this faith is comfort as we know that God will keep the covenant that he made with Abraham. We see that, in the kingdom to come, the land of Israel will be renewed and there will be joy and praise. This kingdom will be based on the commandments of God and will bring understanding to his people as well as peace. We see the promise that God's Son will be sent to bring salvation and to judge the people as well as the fact that even the remote parts of the earth are trusting in this work of salvation. Raise your eyes toward the skies, look at the earth below. The skies will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like clothing. Those living on it will die like flies, but my salvation will be forever, and my justice will never end. Listen to me, you who know justice, you people who have my Torah in your heart, don't be afraid of people's taunts, don't be upset by their insults. For the moth will eat them up like clothing, the worm will eat them like wool, but my justice will be forever, and my salvation for all generations. When Messiah comes there is going to be change as this world passes away and the people are judged. Those that trust in Yeshua Messiah do not have to fear as they face the ridicule of those who are of this world because it is only temporary while salvation and righteousness are eternal. Awake! Awake! Arm of Adonai, clothe yourself with strength. Awake, as in days of old, as in ancient generations. Wasn't it you who hacked Rahab to pieces, you who pierced the sea monster? Wasn't it you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, you who made the sea bottom a road for the redeemed to cross? Those ransomed by Adonai will return and come with singing to Zion, on their heads will be everlasting joy. They will acquire gladness and joy, while sorrow and sighing will flee. Now, Israel is referred to as the arm of the Lord and are called to return to the strength of their past which was rooted in the faith of Abraham. During the time of this prophecy, Judah had fallen into idolatry and were soon to be exiled to Babylon but even so God calls them to snap out of their slumber. The people are reminded that God had redeemed them from Egypt and the hand of Pharaoh by drying up the sea. In the same manner, those that are redeemed by Messiah will enter the kingdom where there will be joy and gladness. I, yes I, am the one who comforts you. Why are you afraid of a man, who must die, of a human being, who will wither like grass? You have forgotten Adonai, your Maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. Instead, you are in constant fear all day because of the oppressor's rage, as he prepares to destroy. But where is the oppressor's rage? In this passage we see misplaced fear as the people fear mere men and death, but death has no power over those that trust in the Lord. Just as God created the earth he has the power to bring about the promised kingdom. The captive will soon be set free, he will not die and go down to SHOL, on the contrary, his food supply will be secure. For I am Adonai your God who stirs up the sea, who makes its waves roar, Adonai Tzvaoti is my name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand, in order to plant the skies, anew, lay the foundations of the earth, anew, and say to Zion, you are my people. This passage speaks of the fact that the exile was only temporary and it was to bring about a change in the people to bring them to repentance. This repentance is necessary for a new start and entrance into the promised kingdom. Awake! Awake! Stand up, Yerushalayim! At Adonai's hand you drank the cup of his fury, you have drained to the dregs the goblet of drunkenness. There is no one to guide her among all the sons she has borne. Not one of all the children she raised is taking her by the hand. These two disasters have overcome you, yet who will grieve with you? 
plunder and destruction, famine and sword, by whom can I comfort you? Your children lie helpless at every street corner, like an antelope trapped in a net, they are full of Adonai's fury, the rebuke of your God. Jerusalem has suffered because of the rebellion of God's people and there is no man that is able to comfort them. We see that before this new kingdom comes there will be a time that is known as Jacob's trouble or the great tribulation. Therefore, please hear this in your affliction, you who are drunk, but not with wine, this is what your Lord Adonai says, your God, who defends his people, here, I have removed from your hand the cup of drunkenness, the goblet of my fury. You will never drink it again. I will put it in the hands of your tormentors, who said to you, bend down, so we can trample you, and you flattened your back on the ground like a street for them to walk on. We see that the people are staggering like a drunk because of their sin, but God will remove his wrath and judge those who humiliated his people. We hope you've enjoyed this study and we uh, hope that if you'd like more information about any of our studies, you go to our website at mychristianspace.com and we hope to see you back here again. For now, that's all from the Olive Grove.